Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. When Derek Leahy told his friends he was going to talk to Alberta farmers about climate change, they thought he was nuts. Hi, my name is Derek Leahy. I'm the director of Rural Routes to Climate Solutions, which is a project of the Stetler Learning Center. Uh, what we do is we empower agricultural producers with climate solutions by providing learning opportunities so they can find out how to benefit from those climate solutions. Rural Routes to Climate Solutions is a podcast and much more. For the most part, it's educational. So we started off doing workshops, field days. We also ran a speaker series at a conference just talking about the different farm solutions that are also climate solutions. And we just started doing webinars. The idea is to connect with farmers on their own turf. The podcast, it came about because we noticed that A lot of the, so we have this new generation of new and young farmers that are emerging in Alberta and across Canada. And we noticed that particular demographic was downloading a lot of podcasts for different reasons. Who is Rural Roots to Climate Solutions for? We are specifically targeting agricultural producers. I'll admit most of the agricultural producers who show up at our workshops, they tend to be more... They call them regenerative farmers, so farmers who are definitely trying to make money and they're trying to sell their produce, but they're also really concerned with regenerating the land and healing the land. You know, farmers get a bad rap in the media when it comes to climate. All we hear is about agriculture and all the damage it's doing in relation to climate change, ecosystems, biodiversity, which I'm not saying that's not true. Like, agriculture is doing a lot of bad things in all of those fields, but agriculture has also got a lot of the solutions to solve those particular problems. In this podcast, Leahy has covered geothermal on the farm, passive solar greenhouses, biodiversity, and even the much maligned cow. Just the concept I really like because for the most part, uh, you know, a lot of people have seen cowspiracy. They've heard really, really bad things about cattle in relation to climate change. And I I don't know if there's such thing as a net zero cow out there, but I, I, I do think especially in the prairies where you need something to graze the grasslands to maintain the ecology here. Like the ecology evolved with bison and fire. We're trying to avoid fires right now. We kind of killed all the bison, so we, we do need something grazing out there. So just talking about cattle and climate change in a different light, saying that there could be a place for cattle in a world that is trying to reduce emissions. Leahy says biodiversity and climate change are linked. The first, we were looking at biodiversity and climate change as two very separate things, which, to be honest, was completely stupid of us. But biodiversity is just getting the crap kicked out of it by climate change. When those climate shift, you lose some biodiversity. Admittedly, some other species will thrive. But if you have biodiversity on your farm, it, it, it is really helpful for increasing yields. It just takes something basic like pollinators. So we need those bees for a lot of things we do those bees and other native pollinators they need a place to live and if you just got a monoculture of anything it doesn't give them too much in the way of habitat rural roots to climate solutions is successful but when Leahy left ontario to join the project some of his friends thought he was crazy the first time i told my friends i used to live in ottawa and i uh, told like my friends who work for different environmental groups out there like oh yeah i'm gonna talk to farmers in alberta about climate change you know their eyes kind of popped out like you know is that safe do you really want to do that and just because as i keep saying and i'm sorry to repeat myself but because so many of those climate solutions are farm solutions it's been a walk in the park to be honest Find links to Derek Leahy's podcasts and learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.